more And now the reason for the hole in the ceiling. I installed some attic pull down steps. Now it's the steps are mostly installed. There's a couple of screws I still got to get put in, but it's mostly done. You can also see I have a fair bit of um, drywall work to do. Got to put some mud on the ceiling, the whole filling, stuff like that, then get all that painted. Uh, so maybe one of these days I can get the Walmart sack off the CFL right there. But, um, I don't hardly ever use that light either, but here's the deal. Mom and Dad got me this attic pull down stairs several years ago as, I think, a birthday present. And one day, Dad came up to help me install it. Upon finding that I, uh, I accidentally bought 2x4s when I needed 2x6s, so we were going to run to the hardware store lumber yard and get some. Well... Dad's truck wouldn't start, so that turned into a fiasco with getting it to the repair shop and all that fun stuff. And well, I kinda, the project went stagnant, and then I ended up using this Labor Day weekend. I'm This is Labor Day now, I finished it yesterday to get it done. I installed 2 by 6s and built a frame for it. It pulls down and it works. So, as stated, I gotta kind of clean up some of this sheetrock. There's some, you know, bad spots I gotta do, do, you know, fix. There's a couple other things I gotta do. The other thing I gotta do is I got most of the insulation put back. However, over there next to the old attic opening is where the light switch is. I need to move it over here, probably actually on top of that joist. Well, alongside this joist, so as I come up, I can just hit it. I also took the opportunity, since many of you know my house has an addition, and you can see, uh, this is the old part of the house, and then right on the other side of that door is the new part of the house. So right here is the old roof. And since right here is where I'm coming up, I cut you know some of that old roofing off they left the shingles and everything there and I also cut this part out so I can easily walk through on this piece of plywood into the addition if I need to and I've mentioned it quickly or in passing but you can see one thing I did do a few years ago is to put uh, lights up here so I can actually see So anyway, uh, it was a bit of a fiasco, but it's up. It's here. So I am quite happy this will make getting up here much easier. Um, as far as the old attic opening, I have no immediate plans for it. My dream would be to kind of cut that out and use that opening for a whole house fan. Uh, that would be nice. And then I could, um, you know, push air up through here and to help cool the house. However, if I open up windows and have all the fans and all the windows blowing in and then have this and that open, that'll get quite a bit of air moving through the house. So anyway, and then all this started is I just figured I'd get a little bit of prep work done. Next thing I know, I'm actually... I actually have a, had a rope tied off to that joist and had a pulley on this lifting it up. It was a lot of work. It was all Saturday afternoon and all the Sunday afternoon, but it's done. In fact, on the first clip of me stomping out the ceiling, you can actually hear Chris Master One in the background because I had his show going for auditory entertainment. So anyway, that is... A quickie um, vlog, maybe, I guess that's what you would call it, of the attic stairs. 
And now, uh, for a quick, quick little unrelated quip, I'm just going to tack on to the end of this video, kind of making what would be two quickie videos into one normal length video, I guess. So, I know I kind of rambled in this video. I just want to spit out the information and get it done with, because uh, I'm not thinking very well. I don't know. I guess I'm, I guess I'm still kind of tired from the last couple days. Who remembers this from a previous video? The Chevrolet Viking 60 is back. Ah, let's see if we can get a quick look on the inside here. It smells of gas, but you can't really see. It looks like that's gotten a fresh paint job. Just a awesome. A little intimidating, but cool looking old front end, and then the other side looks about the same, minus the dent. Long story short, some of you may remember the hailstorm, and the house next door to mine is no exception on having hail damage, and the renters, the people who were renting that house, have moved out in favor of a larger place. Uh, the owner, the landlord, decided, I guess he decided it was the best time to go ahead and re-roof this house while the house was vacant. So, he's got his shingles over there, and I'm guessing he's going to use that as basically a dump, a dump truck to throw all the shingles in. So, hey, why not? I should, I should be a little nosy sometime, take a, see if he'd let me take a closer look at the old thing. Anyway, that's just a quickie video here. I'll probably tack on with another video.